Hey, we're gonna take a look at the EcoFlow Stream Ultra app and how it works with the EcoFlow. So yeah, let me, we're gonna look at all this and how it works. We're gonna go through what you can see and what you can't see. So yeah, let me get that up. So here's the app itself. So let's take a look at it. Have it loaded up. Uh, here's the main screen. Okay, so let's see. This is the house. You can change the house style. Here's the temperature outside, sort of. If, it, if you put in your address. So, and then it slides up. There's automation, explore. This is the main screen. Okay, so you play space, and this is the where the EcoFlow Stream Ultra is. That's the first one you see. So right now it is doing charging, uh, estimated power, then wattage, incoming solar power, and then grid connected. So it is right now 50 watts around going into the house. So I'm using it for routers and stuff right now. And I don't know what else. So I don't know what else I could have. And then you could turn on the AC one or two up from here if you want. So yeah, let's see. From that, that is it. That's all you could do from there. All right, let's check this one. This one also has this button and this one has update firmware, updated user manual, loads from the website. Yeah, this is all from loaded online. So yeah, and then specs. So yeah, there's a specs. And then help. Feed. Didn't go through this one yet. It's been working pretty well. I'll show you how I use it. Oh yeah, maybe in the next one too. So yeah, and then you, if you have solar generated this day, today, then this week, tells you how much generated you have. From that, click the day. And then I don't even know I have month, month. So yeah, that's month. Okay, and then it's notifications, sales, flashes, sale flashes, and then this one's add device, add new automation, and then add scan, scan the QR code if you have that. And then let's see, this one's consumption. I don't know what this one is. Maybe this one, I don't know how this one works. So maybe consumption is from the grid to the battery. And there is how earnings, how much you made in solar that day. So around yesterday was 48 cent, 47 cents. Then you could click it. Let's see. You go by year, etc. Let's see. And then you can't click any of those. And then you go to uh, stat, stats. So from this is, let's see. This is, let's see, um, how much solar generated by the day. So you could say, like, this time, it generated this time, and then you could remove the total, which is just tells you that, and then you just go through that panel if you want. And then home, flows, and then you go to week, which is tells you the weekly generation and which color goes with which MPPT. And also you go to month, you go to year, etc. On that, and then energy efficiency. I haven't really looked into this. This is what your grid tide is compared to what you're using. So it's telling you, since I'm, I only said it's like 50%, I'll show you later after this, that how much solar is feeding into 50% of 50 watts of that. And then how much the battery is discharged and charged. So during the night it's being discharged 50 watts. Then you check by date, how much solar was gained, how much. And then there's other batteries, discharge, charge, etc. let's see. And then consumption. Is also, I'm not even sure what one is. From grid to battery. And then import is from grid. I have nothing imported from grid. 
then independence year self powered and then toller earnings how much you saved or how much solar you gained and then let's see co2 impacts okay that's it let's see and then this is the specs on settings this is settings so this is home energy automation this sets up like what time you could link your smart plugs i don't have any smart plugs right now i'm working on that i'm trying to figure out what to, which one to use this to have like set it to 50 watts that you could have one, two, three, four, five, five times to change the different wattage, or it goes to 1200. So, right now at 12 in the morning to like 11 a.m., it goes 50 watts. Right there, it shows you 50 watts. And then when my AC turns on at 11.30 to 12.30, it's 800 watts feeding into the house. Okay. And then after that, it goes back to 50 watts doing just like wi-fi's and stuff and then 800 800 watts again going into my ac system so i have my heater or uh, ac unit running when this is set to run and then i have my ac unit like drop it as low as possible and then after what is it one hour or two hours it gets out and then just stops linking it so that's how i'm doing it to feed into the grid so i don't have I mean, not feeding into the grid, feeding into my house. And then this is feed-in control. When turned on, you could still have loads connected while the grid actually being fed to the grid. So that's not what I want. And then this is the charge and discharge limit of the battery. Yeah. yeah. And then self self operating mode. And if like this one, I think is they'll use this much of it to feed into with the solar and then 3% left is for like, oh, the power is out in the whole house or the whole neighborhood. And then you only get 3% if you want to change that, if you want. And then name, change the name, update the firmware, manage device, space, name of space. I don't really know how that works, delete. Then that is it for that part. And then there is also automation. So, Let's see, you could add systems or devices. So you could add all these devices. This is pretty much the app, but yeah. And then you could also add automation. So these are the times of automations you could add to it. Okay, manual trigger. A device, do something, to do something, okay? So what I have is when... This is the first one I set up. When it generates over a thousand watts, I'm not even sure. Condition, it turns on the AC, AC power on the unit, and then it'll charge something of mine. And then when it's done below a thousand, it shuts it off. So that's how you could do it. You can change the time of the day, period, sunrise, sunset. Yeah. So I think that is it. Oh, yeah. Explore. Things to buy. New cells. I'm not even sure how. if you don't ever feed to your grid while using the Stream Ultra. I'm not even sure how they would know that you are running on solar. And then there's me. So, and then on me, there's eco credits, warranty, check updates. And then help and feedback, rate us, widgets. I'm not even sure widgets do. I don't even know how to add it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any on mine. Automation. And then, yeah, that is it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm going to post something more on solar stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.